The pace of technology is staggering. Even our phones contain computational power that was unimaginable just a few years ago. Modern personal electronics run thousands of applications from different software developers to give us things like music, games, movies, photo editing, and of course, phone calls. Yet somehow technology in the cockpit has escaped this trend. Today's glass cockpits do contain some new features like animated maps, synthetic vision, advanced autopilots, and so on. But regardless of the vendor, this technology is all based upon carefully developed software. What sets apart a Garmin G1000 and even the advanced AVO NG platform on the Eclipse 500 isn't which screen is brighter or which has the best resolution. Avolution recognizes this and is the first company to embrace avionics as a software business through its extensible flight system, or XFS. Unlike most aircraft, our CH750 demonstrator aircraft is not built around proprietary displays and expensive one-of-a-kind computers. Instead, it uses commodity, industrial-grade computer screens and networking equipment. These robust yet readily available systems combine with Avolution software to create the optimal experience for the pilot in terms of usability and safety. For over a decade, software has been the primary differentiator of avionics systems. Vendors can pretend all they want that primary flight display or multifunction display is no different from a round dial altimeter or artificial horizon. But the reality is that modern avionics are built and operate a lot more like this than this. Software allows for an incredibly diverse array of aircraft data, such as airspeed, attitude, and GPS location, to be processed, verified, and presented to the pilot in a more optimal format. Software on a primary flight display or multifunction display can be easily updated to deliver additional features, provided there's someone to maintain it. Unfortunately, in the avionics industry, the transition to software has primarily benefited the avionics manufacturers more than us as pilots. Vendors have kept the key software proprietary and tied exclusively to their own hardware. Once a hardware vendor discontinues a product, the whole avionics platform becomes orphaned from future improvement. Remember the Apollo GPSs? What about the Megat Magic Suite from early 2000s Piper Morel Booths and Meridians? XFS is built using software that can be changed or improved by any software developer, and it runs on hardware from any number of vendors. With XFS, an avionics system never becomes obsolete, since individual components, hardware or software, can be readily replaced with newer ones while maintaining compatibility with older portions of the system. Think about the experience of buying a computer with the electronics. Sure, there are dozens of brands of computers and printers, but you know when you buy any of them that the software you've had for years should still run on it and your printers should still print. I want to infuse the avionics industry with that model of simplicity. In our research and development aircraft behind us, we have XFS running on eight computers, many of which are redundant and most of which are the size of this Raspberry Pi. XFS is already tuning nav and comm radios processing data from GPS, air data computers, and AR sensors, and displaying it on an XFS, PFD, and MFD. Come see how XFS is improving safety and flexibility while driving down the cost of avionics. Or come visit us at www.xfs.aero.